is the northwesternmost highway in the Canadian province of British Columbia. A scenic route through some of the province's most isolated areas, the highway first gains designation as British Columbia Highway 37 in the year 1975. At that time, its southern terminus was at the community of New Hazelton on the BC Highway 16, the Yellowhead Highway. In 1975, with the completion of the new bridge over the Kitimat River, the highway's Yellowhead Junction was relocated to a point on Highway 16 just south of the site of Kitwanga. Highway 37 was then extended south to Kitimat in 1986 superseding what was then designated Highway 25. At the north end, the highway briefly stretches into the Yukon, becoming Yukon Highway 37. Highway 37 starts its 874 kilometers, 543 miles, journey in the south at Gitamat. 59 kilometers, 37 miles, north, Highway 37 reaches Terrace, where it merges onto the Yellowhead Highway. The Yellowhead coincides with Highway 37 east for 91 kilometers, 57 miles, to Kitwanga Junction, where the Yellowhead diverges east. North of the Yellowhead to Kitwanga Junction, Highway 37 travels 76 kilometers, 47 miles, to Cranberry Junction, and then another 80 kilometers, 50 miles, north to Mazieden Junction, where Highway 37A begins and heads west via Bear River Pass to Stewart and Hyder, Alaska. Highway 37 travels north through the Skeena Mountains for 333 kilometers, 207 miles, to the Continental Divide communities of Edenton, Iskut, and Is Lake, which straddles the Steichen and Is River basins. Another 116 kilometers, 72 miles, north and Highway 37 reaches Jade City, where a junction to the former aspects mining community of Kassar is located. North of Jade City, Highway 37 travels another 120 kilometers, 75 miles, to its crossing of the 60th parallel into the Yukon Territory, becoming Yukon Highway 37 and terminating at a junction with the Alaska Highway near Upperly of just 3.4 kilometers, 2.1 miles, later. According to the British Columbia Ministry of Transportation, most of the route is hard surface, either pavement or sea outgoat, with approximately 1 km (0.6 miles) of grave. The Highway 37 of today is the result of highway extension projects began in 1959. Originally, a roadway extended south from the Alaska Highway to serve the Kassar Mining District. Eventually reaching the East Lake and joining a road to Telegraph Creek, sometimes referred to as Highway 51, but not signed as such. To the south, logging roads extended north almost as far as Mazieden Junction. By 1968, the route of what is now 37A extended past Mazieden Junction north. This was done to allow for asbestos from Kassar to be shipped to market via sea from Stewart. By the middle of 1972, only a few miles remained to be built between Wazi Junction and Iskut. For bicyclists, whose journey from Alaska to Montana was chronicled in a May 1973 National Geographic article, Braved the Muddy Gap. Once this route was completed, travelers only had to contend with limited hours for using the logging roads south of Mazieden Junction, roads which were upgraded during the 1970s. The completion of a new bridge over the Skeena River at Kitwanga in mid-November 1975 gave better access to the Yellowhead Highway. 6. Work continued through the mid to late 70s to upgrade the stretch of highway. The Highway 37 corridor is slated for infrastructure enhancements as resource extraction activities increase in the northwest region of British Columbia.
The Northwest Transmission Line was constructed by BC Hydro and runs from Terrace, British Columbia to Bob Quinn Lake, largely paralleling the highway. Highway 37 Stuart Cassar Scenic Route From Kitwanga Junction on Highway 16 to the Yukon, Highway 37 is one of only two routes from BC to the Stewart Hyder Access Road, Highway 37A, from Mosiadin Junction at Milepost J97. The Kassar also provides access to Telegraph Creek via a 70 mile 113 km side road from Dees Lake Junction at Milepost J303.9. The Kassar Highway was completed in 1972 and is asphalt surfaced with the exception of a few short gravel breaks. The highway is generally narrower than most two-lane highways, with little or no shoulder. It has easy curves and some long straight stretches. Although not particularly hilly, there are a few 8% grades and two switchback turns. There are no passing lanes, beyond the one in the first few miles of the highway. is a 724 km 450 mile long road which provides an excellent alternate route for visitors traveling to or from the Yukon or Alaska. The Kassar Highway knives through Mountain River Lake Glacier Country. There are several communities en route. Time should be allowed for a visit to the neighboring towns of Stewart, BC and Hyder, Alaska, reached by a 65 km 40 mile highway which opens up some of the north's most spectacular glacier and mountain scenery. This area of British Columbia and Alaska is one of the most beautiful you will visit on your trip north. Long renowned for its glaciers and waterfalls, one of the top attractions still has to be the friendly people. towing trailers. Some services listed in the following highway log are not open all year. Fill your tank at all opportunities and you will have no problems. Distances along the Kassar Highway are marked by kilometer posts. A kilometer is six tenths mile. Numbers shown in the highway log correspond to kilometer posts on the side of the highway. <laughs> 